Hello everybody. Welcome to Simplified in File. Today we are going to talk about Auto PTR from STL. So let's see uh, an example uh, uh, so to how of how to use Auto PTR to create smart pointers. Basically, um, if you want to create the uh, smart pointer to hold an int, uh, you will have to say it like this, and uh, Auto PTR will create a template. Auto PTR is basically a templatized uh, smart pointer provided by uh, STL and uh, this will create the uh, smart pointer for uh, holding int uh, similarly you can create another auto pointer using uh, an existing auto ptr uh, but the problem with this is uh, if you do this uh, p1 will be now pointing to null uh, because uh, the thing with auto ptr is uh, it transfers the ownership of the resource when you create a new object from an existing object uh, so now p2 will be pointing to the uh, existing uh, integer that p1 was uh, already holding so let's see uh, five key things to remember about the auto ptr yeah it will be defined in the uh, memory header uh, basically it's a smart pointer uh, and you can uh, manage and it will manage the object uh, created using new and delete the object when auto ptr uh, goes out of scope or it's destroyed uh, then copying one auto ptr as we saw uh, to another will create will not create two equal objects because uh, the ownership is transferred and the first one loses the ownership whereas second uh, pointer will gain the ownership uh, that's why it's not advisable uh, to use still containers of auto ptr because uh, with still you will need the functionality to have uh, copying uh, or creating new object using existing uh, then yeah, uh, see, since because of this problem, uh, since C++11, Auto PTR is deprecated, uh, and Unique PTR is the option provided, uh, which we should be using uh, from C++11 onwards. So hope this helps, and thank you for watching.